This is seizure 1.3, sentences 3 through 5, a couple of short ones followed by a really long one. For finishing these things, Orgetrix is chosen. Nice. Got a gerundive here. Gerundive. Very good. You can see that modifies race. Gerundive always counts as the future passive participle. Orgetrix is chosen. Okay. Subject, big S there, big V there. Passive verb, right? Okay. He, we can just say he for that, meaning Orgetorix. He undertakes an embassy on his own behalf to the nations. So the Sibis going back refers to Orgetorix, who is the subject there as well. There's your subject, there's your verb, there's your DO, legationem. All right, looks good so far, pretty simple. On this journey, in eo itinere, persuadet Costico, he persuades Casticus. This is dative, because that's what persuadeo takes, it takes a dative object here. Nice little chunk here, prepositional phrase. You always want to knock those out, really easy to do. And here's a positive. This is just pointing back to Casticus. Who is he? He's the son of Catamantoloides. Whew! Some name. And another positive here. He's a Sequanus. That's his tribe. That's his dad. His name's Casticus. Whose father? Okay, here we go. Relative pronoun. It's genitive in its own clause. Its antecedent is Casticus. We're referring back to Casticus, whose father, whose father, yep, whose, great little thing, that's one of the few cases we have in English, whose father had held power among the Sequani for many years, ooh, this guy, accusative of motion, yep, movement through time. For many years, in time and space, accusative is motion, ablative is location, right? Accusative, motion through space. And by the Senate, he had been named a friend of the Roman people. So this is like a title, a friend of the Roman people, all right? Actually, it includes that there. Yeah, that's the whole title. Populi Romani Amicus. Yeah, that's that's good. You, you're a friend of a very powerful person there. And look at this, a pluperfect passive. That ain't bad. And this here, Amicus, notice that's nominative, and that's a predicate nominative. He had been called a friend. You don't want to translate this, a friend had been called. Oh, no, no, no. That doesn't make any sense. You want to say, he had been called a friend. And the subject goes back to Casticus, or actually, Catamantiloetus. Yep. So, where were we here? Yeah. He persuades, oh, yeah. Persuade. Now, with persuade, you're going to get this purpose clause here. There's the purpose clause. Persuades him to, all right, we always translate this as though it were infinitive, to seize power in his own nation. All right, look at this. Imperfect, oop, almost running out there. Imperfect subjunctive. All righty. Imperfect subjunctive and a purpose clause there persuades Casticus to. Boy, that gets really separated far apart there. The power in his own state, which his father had held before him. All right. And that quote, the antecedent of that is regnum, the power which his father had before him. Accusative in its own clause, its antecedent is neuter, neuter. Singular, singular. 